people of the universe, beautiful and handsome, this is Eustace Captain Kid. Today, we will be discussing about one of the legendary pirates in the world of One Piece. This legendary pirate was a pirate even before the great pirate era. This Dinsetsu no Kaizoko was a former crew of the Oro Jackson, a former crewmate of the pirate king himself, and now he is a warlord and a future Yonko. Yes, I am claiming it with a bounty, don't be shocked, with a bounty of 15 million. All hail Captain Buggy! I'm sorry guys if I made the intro very long. I think that I, I just thought that Buggy, Captain Buggy really deserves that kind of intro because we all know what kind of ha character he is. He is really legendary. Okay, let's <clears throat> start. Buggy was the very first villain to have a devil fruit and he was he was actually the third villain. The first one being Iron Mace Alvida, then Axe Hand Morgan, and he was the th third one. Then Buggy came back to the storyline so many times. <clears throat> Actually, I think he's the next to Smoker and Tashigi, being the reoccurring One Piece characters within many story arcs of one piece aside from the straw hat pirates themselves now let's talk about let's talk a bit about captain buggy's D devil fruit the bara bara no me now <clears throat> his devil fruit is is a paramecia he he basically fly all parts of his body anywhere he likes to but the only thing or condition is he cannot leave he cannot use his feet to fly the his feet should remain in the ground now if you remember guys when we first saw well me actually when i first saw luffy having a gomu gomu no me oh this guy's boring what can a rubber man do he, he will just reflect or uh, ricochet the bullets 700 episodes later 850 plus chapters later we saw how awesome the gomu gomu no could be but of course that is most mostly because luffy is a fight genius now going back to captain baggy he his goal is to be the pirate king as well he says that, that, that he wants to be the Pirate King, but he never mentioned that he wants to find the One Piece. Now, Captain Buggy, we all know that he likes treasure, and treasure means gold, silver, jewelries, that's tre what treasure to him. He, he doesn't care about other treasures. Remember when he, dis he damaged Luffy's hat and luffy said it, it's his treasure and buggy was furious that that's not what treasure is that's the main reason why shanks and and buggy doesn't go along well in the past even now because of their mentality and captain buggy's mentality of about the treasure so speaking of the treasure did Captain Baggy and Shanks, who is now a Yonko, went with Goldie Roger and his crew to Raftel? Are they, are the apprentices part of the crew who went to Raftel? I think I'll make a separate video on that. That'll be very interesting. Okay, so Captain Baggy likes treasure and the main treasure that he is searching for is Captain, Captain Jan's treasure we saw captain jan in thriller bark his corpse at least and then when luffy when thriller bark arc ended luffy got this armband then eventually when luffy met captain buggy in impel down 
Baggy was surprised because he knows that it's the treasure map leading to Captain John's treasure and Luffy eventually gave it to Buggy. Now, why do I say that Buggy will become a Yonko? There are two uh, YouTubers that mentioned this. If I'm not mistaken, they were Legend Mac and Rogers Base. When I was still just a casual YouTuber and I, I still do not make my own videos, I watched it and I definitely agreed with them. And then a month later, I, I started my channel. Now, I agree with it because it's very possible. To be honest, uh, it's a fact, guys, that Oda said that Buggy is his favorite villain. One of his favorite villains, at least. That's also the main reason, probably, why he keeps on making Buggy come back or return in most arcs of One Piece. Then, going back to his Devil Fruit, I just remembered one thing. His Barra Barra no Mi could really be as dangerous as Gomu Gomu no Mi. Why? It's because what if Buggy's awakening is getting all the the buildings or every object in his in his uh, surrounding split into parts and just he just throws it to you oh scary scary captain buggy and about the uh, returning to the captain john's pressure what if the captain john's pressure one fit is a poneglyph that will make buggy a yonko this is a popular theory and i agree, i definitely agree with that that will be very cool either way or which way I still believe that Buggy will become a Yonko because Captain John was regarded to be one of the richest pirates in uh, in One Piece history. So now, thank you so much for listening, guys. Thanks so much for watching. What are your thoughts about Buggy? Will he become a Yonko? When will he return into the series? Because now he is under he's uh under the world government he's now a warlord and he has this uh buggy delivery or this uh uh this buggy delivery business that he has that he kind of use cargos uh, with uh, with military weapons on it or something like that i think that because that's because the world government has recognized his strength, his past with Shanks. I know that we will see a lot more from Buggy. So, put your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And, uh, I really just want to expound on this topic that we should fear. We should all fear the Yonko, Captain Buggy. He's the shortest Shichibukai because... If you have observed, guys, Shichibukais are this very... Is it a requirement? When I was watching One Piece, is it a requirement to, for a warlord to be, like, gigantic or 7, 8, fo 7 footer or 8 footer? So, <laughs> never mind. Thank you so much, guys. All hell, Captain Buggy. He has this very loyal followers, and he will become a great pirate. I'm sure of that. See you guys on my upcoming video.